You're listening to the Cyberwire Network, powered by N2K. Attention all security professionals. Want real-time IP intelligence at your fingertips? Sign up for Scout Insight's free trial today. Get immediate insights into threats, search any IP with no training required, and enjoy intuitive graphical results. Whether you need to identify compromised hosts or enrich Splunk queries, Scout Insight has you covered. Don't wait. Accelerate your threat response now. Visit teamcumry.com slash cyberwire to start your free trial. This is Dick Clark. I'm the CEO of Good Harbor Security Risk Management. I grew up uh, at a time when John Kennedy was president. And his call to uh, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country, resonated a lot with me. Uh, and so I think from the very beginning, I wanted to uh, to serve in government, to serve in the federal government. I remember going to the White House as a kid, uh, standing outside and, and saying to my father, I'm going to work there. <laughs> well, when I got out of school, the Vietnam War was uh, still raging. It was the number one issue that had dominated my life as, a, as an undergraduate. Uh, and I made a counterintuitive response to that. I... I decided I wanted to go work in the Pentagon. My reason for thinking that way was if only people who wanted to have wars, if they were the people who populated the Pentagon, then we would always have more wars. But if we had uh, people who uh, believed in alternatives uh, to war, it might make a difference 20 years later. Uh, And so I put my sights on the Pentagon and... I lucked out. Uh, I got a management uh, trainee job, management internship job, uh, in the office of the Secretary of Defense. I got to the White House from the State Department. I'd been an assistant secretary. So I went to the White House at a fairly high level in the Bush administration. Almost from the beginning, uh, I thought we were not paying enough attention to a new phenomenon that I smelt, I detected, and some other people did too. And that phenomenon turned out to have a name, and that name was Al-Qaeda. So I always kept Al-Qaeda under watch beginning, oh, probably in 1992. In 1997, uh, they added to my portfolio uh, this new thing called cybersecurity. Uh, And when they insisted I take it on as an additional responsibility, I tried to learn uh, about it, tried to get books on the subject. And there really were not any good books then uh, that were an introduction to the topic. And so I used the fact that I was a special assistant to the president to call up uh, Microsoft and Cisco and and Symantec and the, the big names of the day uh, and say, uh, I'm from the White House. I really need to understand your company and this issue. Uh, so I want to meet with Bill Gates. <laughs> I want to meet with John Chambers. Uh, and that worked. Before 9-11, in the early months of the Bush administration, Bush two, it was pretty clear to me that they were not going to pay enough attention to al-Qaeda. And I really didn't want to be left holding the bag. Uh, And I also wanted there to be a full-time position worrying about cybersecurity. So I think in June, uh, before the September attacks, uh, I went to the National Security Advisor and said, I want to move from the terrorism portfolio, since you don't pay enough attention to it, and you're not doing what I recommend. I want to work full-time on cybersecurity, and I want to create a new position to do that. Eventually, it happened, and, and we did uh, create the first cybersecurity policy uh, position in the White House, and it was well-staffed. I had quite a, quite a good staff. 
uh, and we wrote a national uh, strategy for cybersecurity, which I read the other day. And, uh, you know, 20 years on, it's still pretty good. My job is one of being a consultant, but it's a consultant to a diverse group of things. I try to work for corporate boards uh, and corporate leadership to explain the importance of cybersecurity to them. And I try to work with CISOs to be their advocate uh, and coach and validator. You know, when I started in cybersecurity looking for that book, uh, that would be the good introduction, it didn't exist. And when I started looking for uh, university courses, uh, they didn't exist. And so I wrote the book. <laughs> and uh, I got a lot of universities to start the courses. I got a lot of federal money uh, to help universities start cyber programs. Uh, so a lot of what I wanted to learn then, one couldn't easily learn then and can much more easily learn now. everybody, Dave here. We love what we do here at the CyberWire and are proud to be able to provide news and insights that top leaders and decision makers rely on every day. We'd like to give a huge thanks to our many sponsors that make all of this possible and invite your company to join them in reaching over quarter million unique listeners and 50,000 readers each week. Find out about opportunities to bring your brand and messages to the most influential audience in cybersecurity. Visit thecyberwire.com slash sponsorship and join in on the action.